broadcasting mogul David Sarnoff, the head of RCA in 1928, asked inventor Edwin Armstrong to find a way to eliminate the noise in AM radio. Armstrong started working a way to modulate frequency rather than amplitude on a carrier wave. Armstrong filed for patents on his frequency modulation FM system in 1933. RCA had the right of first refusal on his patents by this time, but they were unimpressed with the system because it was complex and was not compatible with existing equipment. Armstrong set up his own broadcasting company to broadcast using the FM system. Armstrong went to smaller radio companies like Zenith and General Electric. He also got the FCC to allocate a band for this new kind of radio with 40 channels in the 42 to 50 megahertz range. Many FM radio stations sprang up in the 1940s and 1950s using the Armstrong system. Sarnoff could not accept FM radio stations competing with his existing AM radio station empire. So Sarnoff lobbied the U.S. Congress to move the existing FM band to a higher frequency. Consequently, the FCC moved the AM band, putting Armstrong's FM network out of business. This started a legal battle between Armstrong and Sarnoff that lasted for years. The emotional strain of this caused Armstrong to commit suicide in 1954.